Everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas Water Fishing in the morning. I'm gonna be hitting the surf with my son. Why you Kiss him. Oh! Uh, we did have some very clean water conditions. Now it's starting to get a little sandy and a little streaky with some green patches. So hopefully we'll be able to find some cleaner water. Uh, you know, this time of the year, it is great to be fishing the surf. I like, I love to go out there and wade fish the surf. My son can be challenging a little bit because, you know, he's 5'2", so those waves can get pretty challenging for him to jump and fish over. And if you ever taken your kids out, then you know tangles and casting and hookups and all that stuff can be kind of uh, wear your patience, wear your patience a little bit, but it's extremely important that we teach the next generation our love and passion that we have for fishing so i'm going to do just that in the morning um out here in the garage getting a few things together i know a few people have asked me what i fish with what i take out with me uh, i'm going to be taking out a 4000 shimano nasky uh reel uh it is on a tac 40 rod i believe this rod is it's a little little tall a little big a little long uh for weight fishing it is seven one and it's a uh, fast medium christopher's gonna be rolling with a sharky three from cast king and also a um speed demon i believe this this rod is i want to say it's about say yeah it's seven foot as well uh medium light so and I'm gonna be throwing a coastal corks, one of my one of my go-to corks. There's three different corks I like to throw, but this is one of my go-to corks for fishing in the surf. Has a big beat on it, nice big weight and weight, and makes a nice nice rocking sound. I'm experimenting a little bit with different kind of hooks. I'm gonna switch it up and fish with these little kale hooks. And here's another hook right here. That's the the great hooks for especially for fishing with croaker. But we're gonna stop and get some live shrimp, I believe. And my son is gonna be throwing this woody cork. Uh, nice wire on it. This is great for live bait as well. So I'm gonna keep rigging our stuff up, and we're gonna get out there on the water in the morning. So wish us luck. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. It's the little pleasures in life that I truly enjoy. We're gonna go back up in a, in a minute now. We're gonna start going up and we'll fish on the second bar. Come on, come on, keep my road dry. Get past this breaker, now we're on this side now. All right. Should be a little easier, but you still want to cast this way. Look, you can see how dirty the water is. Mm -hmm. And then you can see how there's clean patches. See, it's kind of mixed. We're not moving no more forward. You can see how it's uh, patchy. Ugh. We might need to scoot a couple more feet forward to get off that break. There you go. Woo, sun's so coming up, baby. Come on, fishy. It's going to be lit come on watch this wave you got another one real high there you go come on fishies there we go oh that's a good one. Oh, that's a jack i mean that's a skip jack oh it's a shark baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 You wanna see him? Yeah. Come on, we'll come out, we'll come look at him. Keep your rod up. Remember, the wave still can get you. What type of shark is that? Black tip. That's cool. 
We'll look right here to be sec certain. I'm gonna retie that hook. That way I can just thread, thread my uh, line back through his, his mouth. And then he'll be off in a second. These are a good size little black tip. It's about 26 inches maybe. 20, it'd be 28 to keep it. He might not be keeper size, but I want to keep him anyway. Yeah. See, I'm going to pull it straight out, see? And then... What was it? The hook. The line. I pulled oh. it straight out. There we go. So there's a little guy. A little sharky. Sharky, sharky. Nice big guy. There you go. You down. Let's see what you got. Hope it's not a little shark again. Don't bring him out of the water. Just bring where you can see it. Bring it up a little more. Lift it up a little more. Oh, it's a little whiting. Nice whiting. Switch. So I'll get them off for you. That's a nice big old fat whiting. That's a good one. These are supposed to be real good eating. I've never eaten one before. Look, look how they have that little black tip on their tail. I can see it. I see it. I'm surprised we didn't get a sunrise bite this morning. It is about almost 8 o'clock. So the sun has been up for about an hour and a half. I think about 6.20 when the sun's actually fully up. But we started fishing around 5.40, 5.50. And uh, nothing's kind of dead. Pretty sandy still though. Got a little bit of visibility, but it's sandy. Looks a lot better than it did the other spot we went into. Christopher got a nice big whiting. Look at that one. A nice big, another big whiting for you, Chris. I saw my cork bob a little bit. Move a little weird. Come on. This is like the hot zone right here. Right in front of us. There you go. Set your hook. Oh, boy. put your rod tip down. Instead of set that hook. That's all right. Oh, mine's gone too. Look, rod tip down. Set the hook. There we go. See? Oh, that's a shark. Nope. Maybe. He's swimming at me. <laughs> yeah, look at this big old shark. <laughs> he hit it hard though, man. He hit it hard. Yeah, I don't know how to get, your, get that hand underneath his underneath his tail belly. Oh, he just pooped on you. Ugh. Get this hand underneath his belly. I don't know how. Switch it around. Switch, quick, quick, quick. Go underneath it. There you go. Look at that. Hold it up. <laughs> Why you making that doo doo face though? Don't make a doo doo face. That's a big old boy. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Another another whiting looks like it. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, that's a trout. No, no, no. There's a big old sand trout right here. It's over a pound. Nice one. A big chunky one. Let me see his mouth. Yeah, big chunky one. All right, go on and release it, bud. You know how to release it, right? What'd you got? What'd you got? What'd you got? What'd you got? Oh, doubled up. Doubled up. I got a hard head. I see my heart in and raise you. Oh, Is it? Yeah. No, it's a speckle. Oh, it's a speckle. Raise it up, raise it up, raise it up. Ah, raise it up. Oh my god, oh my god. Raise it up, raise it up, raise it up, raise it up, raise it up. There he is. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's a keeper right there. Here, hold it. Okay. Hold this. Yeah, hold it up like that. I gotta okay. see the side. There you go. Yeah, that's a nice one. Ooh. Let me see it again. There you go. All right, now release it. Remember I show you how? Mm -hmm. Like that. Like that. Whenever he's ready, he can swim away from you. There you go, see? 
Awesome. Good job, buddy. Thanks. Well, that's gonna do it today, myself, Christopher. You know, we had a really good time out here. You know, this surf was just dirty. Uh, it wasn't clean, it was real sandy. So I think that played a, a pretty large role in the bike. We could see cleaner water out there and uh, we could see that's where the birds were diving and that's probably where the fish would be hanging out at. Uh, and, and typically that's the case. You have cleaner water near you and that's gonna be where the fish are, that's where the bait was, we hard, had hardly any bait around us, and uh, but we did good. We had a good time. Christopher caught the fish of the day. Yeah. He caught a nice trout. He caught two specks. One was a keeper. The other one was probably small. And then he had his he had his personal best whiting on, but um, unfortunately, when I was trying to get him off, the uh, hook broke. Yeah. So he got away from us. So Christopher didn't get to hold him up or anything. But we had a really really good time. We had a very good time. I hope you guys did too. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Please like the video. And we do have a Patreon page going on. So if you want to become a Patreon member today, they're going to get this fish report probably tomorrow. So by the time this is out, you could have missed the opportunity on getting on some fish if we had some fish to get on. But uh, live shrimp was the ticket. I threw the spoon just a little bit. I mean, I got maybe a couple little bumps on it, but nothing, no big deal. Nothing really. Yeah, but hey, but thanks guys. Don't forget, come back and see me. Text all water fishing here with Christopher. Till next time, hopefully you catch us hooking up. Bye. Oh baby. Do the poop the pants. Everybody do a poop the pants. And it goes a little something like this. Hit it!